All right, guys, welcome. So uh, coming at you with something a little bit different today. I thought I would give this a shot. As you can see here, I have a, uh, this is my buck knife collection. I've been collecting now for about, I would say around three years, roughly. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you guys which knives um, I got in the order. Uh, so which knives I started with, which knives, um, you know, from beginning to what I have now in the order. So what was my first knife and so forth and so forth. Uh, I thought it'd be, you know, a pretty interesting video, not only for, for you guys, but for myself, just to go back and, and look at the first knife, second knife and that I bought. I'm, I'm going to do segments of this. I'm not going to be able to go through this whole thing in one video. I figure I'll, I'll do two videos. Um, I'm sorry, two knives a video and um, we'll go from there. But, uh, but yeah, guys, I want to also thank everybody that uh, joins our Happy Hour Live chat on uh, Saturday night, on Saturday nights between myself and Big J's Knives. He just hit a thousand subscribers, Big J's Knives. He's a he's a big, uh, just a, a real good friend of mine, and he uh, has great videos, and just check him out. Um, but yeah, that's every Saturday night, 6 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock Central, as a lot of you guys are, you know may already know. Let's jump right into it, guys. So what got me into Buck Knives is a friend of mine, Tristan Barnett. He uh, he's, a, he's a buck collector. You can look him up on YouTube. His name is Tristan Barnett. He goes by his real name. And um, he, me and him got talking, and I just fell in love with bucks. Talking to him, yeah, I just, not only with, with the knives, but with the history of buck knives. They have such a deep, deep history. Um, you know, they were used in wars. They were, they, you know, just not only in wars, but just the stories that a lot of guys can tell you about their knife that they carried on their hip and what those knives went through. Let's start off with my first knife that I've ever, that I ever bought as far as a buck knife. And that's gonna be this one right here. That's gonna be the buck 112. You see another buck 112 down here. That's a much older model, but the first knife that I ever purchased was this buck 112. And let me close it for you real quick, just to give you some closed. You guys already know this knife, but why did I go with this knife over the buck 110? Well, the reason why I went with this knife, guys, is because for me, a three inch blade length is more than enough to get your job done. Um, you know, I, I'm a laborer and that three inch blade length is plenty, plenty blade. Now I could have went with the 110 for my first knife. A lot of people do, um, but for me, the 112 just, I, it, it's just, a, I don't know, fits better in the hand. Three inch blade length is perfect. Another thing I like about the 112 is it has this curved bolster right here. All right, you see that curved, how that curves right there on the front bolster? Now the 110s, they don't have that. Those are straight. See the difference? There's a curve in that 112. And those 110s don't have that curve. What I like about that curve, guys, is it, it you get a better grip because it wraps around your, your finger there and you just get a much better grip. Uh, the 112 is, you know, 420HC blade steel, three inch blade, you have that wood handle, brass bolsters and pins. Um, very simple, but very iconic design. And uh, that's the first knife, this is the first knife ever that I put, that I got into this collection. Um, when it comes to the sheath, I got the sheath right over here for you. Let me just put this down. When it comes to the sheath, we'll pick that up in a minute, but when it comes to the sheath, here's the sheath, guys. I never really use it, but it's a beautiful sheath. The 112 right there on the bottom. Um, beautiful sheath if you want to, you know, you have your belt loop there, you want to put it on your belt. A lot of guys back in the day, that's what they were doing. They had this right on their, their belt. And um, you can sheath this, just a beautiful, beautiful, genuine leather sheath you know it is high quality very high quality um but that's the sheath that comes with the uh the 112 and uh let me just pick this up for a minute that's the sheath that comes with the 112 and um you know it works a lot of guys back in the day that's what they used to use is uh they used to put them on their hip in that in that sheath um but there's the 112 that's the first knife right there that, I, that i've ever got in this collection um, let's move forward to the second knife. Second knife that I've ever got was the 110. Now you see three 110s here. They're all different. 
the one on the the one on the bottom is a 1987 model this one is the first 110 that i ever got this is another knife someone gifted me actually no i paid for it but it has uh al buck's signature on it we can get into that later here's the 110 guys and you guys all know this knife right just same exact thing as that 112 just a longer blade that's the only difference guys and you, and you guys all know this but look at the size of that blade now that's a that's a knife right there you want to get some serious work done that knife will do it for you um hunting skinning uh your your regular just normal edc needs that 110 is going to get that job done for you guys like i said same as the same thing as the 112 just a longer blade that's all that's the only difference um also it doesn't have that curved bolster so i should say that's the two differences it's flat here so it doesn't wrap around you see how it doesn't wrap around your hand but yeah this was the second purchase uh the reason why i got this as a second purchase was because i had to have the 110 you know a buck collector um i i just i had to have it you know i had the 112 i said you know what let me go for the 110 and i love this knife guys i i absolutely love it same thing 428c steel wood handles pinned together brass bolsters just an iconic iconic knife from buck not much more to say about the 110 guys great knife um and uh yeah just very iconic now you see a lot of other knives here in my collection and all these knives here were, were they were uh bought at different times and we're, we're going to get into those knives in the future um but i just wanted to show you the first knife that i purchased and put into this collection which is that right there the buck 112. so guys i'm gonna do segments of this um you know just just uh uh I thought it'd be a fun thing to do and uh, bring you guys through my collection of buck knives. Uh, so I'm going to end it here, but I'll definitely have another video uploaded. I'm going to try to do a few of these a week, um, do two knives at a time. And if you guys like the video, please do like it, uh, comment. I love reading your comments, guys. And if, you, you know, if, you, if you're not already, please do subscribe. I appreciate all of you, and we'll catch you on the next one. Stay sharp. Talk to you later, guys.